All right, this should be working pretty decent. Yo, what is up, guys? So, disclaimer, windows open. If it starts to get loud, I'm going to just close it and go from there. But today's video, we're gonna do some, some back at it training where nationals, one month post, uh, I'm getting a little bit of soreness throughout the arms, but we're just gonna hit the table. I'm uh, gonna work on some angles, just hang out, do some working out and kind of just go with the flow and see what's up. I have no game plan for this one. Like I said, I'm a little bit injured. Um, yeah, so let's just, let's, just, let's just send it and uh, go from there. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I don't have a plan, nothing. But I do have some tools here. I'm gonna grab them uh, right in here. Actually, you know what? I just I see them here. So right before we start the video, I want to show you guys something. I hope these don't fall. Don't fall. So I have. I have. Let's just get a view. I have. I have a lot of like metals, at least to me. Um, and I'll just throw this here so I don't drop anything. Ooh. I was thinking, so depending on how I were to put the camera angle, to have like something along this wall, or at least a section of the wall, where I could place the metals hanging very nicely, like not nothing, like, I don't know. I just want something nice, reasonable to place them. So if you guys have any ideas of how I should set it up, let me know. I do want to convert this area into more of like a really nice backdrop, at least a staple to the videos, but we do have a little bit of an update to this room, which is kind of not good. Actually, you know what? While I'm talking, I'm just going to adjust the weight. I currently have uh, here's a 15 pound. I currently have 25 pounds on here. So I'm going to use this to play around with for now. There we go. And the update, I guess, is, well, in about one hour, does this work? No, other way. In about an hour, we actually have a day bed coming in here, which means, which means that the table's moving. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. That's heavy. 25 pounds on internal rotation. I'm going to put the thing down here. I got to go higher. Ooh, that might be my new favorite exercise, that down pressure. Let's go the other way though. My arms are hurting. I'm getting a lot of issues in the, like right, like the end of the bicep coming into the form. So if you guys have any ideas on how to attack that. Oh, this feels so good. Oh yeah, dude. Nice, I, I'm gonna explain something here. And two, I just want to make sure these mics are on before I start yapping. And the blue light seems to be, yeah, I think we're fine. We good, we good. So one thing I've already realized, and, I, and this is, I'm just winging it right now. But I saw um, Raymond Lippians, the arm wrestling, um, what's the word? What's the channel name? Voice of arm wrestling guy. And... He was literally, he was recently doing a video where he was training exactly instead of using the, I'm really bad at my terminology, but instead of actually placing the, this guy up top, he actually has it on the bottom, which works your lower forearm and that cupping rotation, the cupping movement. What I did not think about this is how it attacks the inner, the inner part of your, uh, like bicep coming into your forearm, this whole area here which is extremely important if you think about it, because when you're coming in for that, the, um, the pin, you come into this weird angle and all the pressure starts to load up on that inner area. So uh, as a dominant top roller, I think this is going to be part of my, part of my training moving forward. Uh, 
and the interconnectivity of my bicep forearm area is one of my least uh, improved areas. So it's definitely something I want to be taking a lot more serious moving forward. And this just might be it. The issue with doing a movement like this with all that internal rotation is one, you can't go heavy. And two, if you go too fast, you can literally rip your tendon or rip your part of your arm. If you come in too fast and you swing and that rebound comes off, if your connectivity is not strong like mine, you already feel the tension just swinging back and you can get injured pretty bad. Also, where the hell is my cup? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my shaker cup because apparently, actually, you know what? You guys can come with me. Apparently, um, I left it out here, which, yeah. Let's get some EAAs going. I've been using these uh, unicorn blood. Seems to have been working. Not that I've actually felt the difference, but I will throw some in here and get rolling. All right, unicorn blood. This looks about right. Let's try to get it. Yeah, the logo is super cool. The t it tastes all right, but if you guys are looking for any, the grind, unicorn blood. All right, let's roll. Whoa. One thing I do enjoy doing is having my pre-workout in a small amount of water. And then as soon as my pre-workout's done, when I hit the gym, load up some EAAs and just cruise it. That's, that's, that's good. All right, let's do another set. Like I said, this workout here, it's nothing, there's no purpose to it exactly. I think it's more, I think it's more a little bit of blood flow and a little bit of recovery and working on some angles. Oh, I can feel my pinky pressure is just, I'm losing, I'm losing it, which is something I gotta work on, gotta work on. Oh yeah, especially my left hand. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Omega arm wrestling equipment. If you guys want to save 10% off, use code Keanu, capitals, at checkout. Get yourself a discount, because this, this equipment, uh, I'm not joking, it's good, very good. Okay, um, actually, you know what? I also have a 15 pound. I'm gonna close this window and see if that helps. This might actually help. The problem is I'm getting some, yeah, I could probably do some of that. All right, we'll save that for after. I'll slap this right here. No update yet on the amount of weights that I have. I currently only have a 25 pound and a 15 pound plate. In the very near future, we're gonna hit up a fitness center that sells like a warehouse for fitness equipment. So we're gonna pick up some more plates because I need to start posting and showing my numbers in terms of back pressure. I wanna know just for myself and I need more weight. I can't be working all the time with 20 kilograms total weight. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. I think we'll do one more set of this because it feels good. And then we're gonna jump on, what should we do next? I have this black bag of stuff. I got bands. I have some Gripzilla. Mm. I want something more. Actually, you know what? We could probably do some back pressure. So I think, I'm missing tools though. Yeah, oh, they're in my backpack, that's why. We'll do some back pressure after this. So I'll drop that here. 
leave that right here and we'll get going. I'll probably play some, honestly, this is gonna suck, but I'll probably play some non-copyright music to throw in between my sets so you guys can actually listen to music with me at the same time, but it's not good music. It's just music that's not going to um, get me copyrighted. And for those who don't know, uh, let's do NCS pump up. What do they have? Most viewed classics NCS workout. Let's just try that. So if I get copyrighted, <laughs> Well, I tried, but for those who don't know, if you play any, and, and this, this has changed, it used to be 10 seconds or less, you could put any, so you put Eminem on if you want, and you will not get any issue with copyright, but now you can't play nothing. Any type of music that plays that gets recorded onto the mic, that gets put on YouTube, uh, your video becomes demonetized, it can turn into a copyright strike, but essentially any ad revenue at all goes to the person who created the music, so. I have no idea how good this music is. It's probably really bad, but uh, I'm gonna just put play and pause it when my set's done. So let's hit shuffle. It says workout, so this could, yeah, we're gonna go with the flow. Um, but let's put this over here on the window. Take a moment right here. Feeling like it's out here. Not bad. not bad that is not bad and actually the music I fuck with it for sure I mean is that something I'd put on my playlist maybe not but I like it I'm also getting itchy from the pre-workout so I'm gonna slap this mic right here put my hat here and just use it here for now but I'm also gonna zoom in One sec. Well, the bed I was talking about is here. The delivery people are here. So uh, we're gonna just keep going with the workout, but I'll give you guys a full rundown on the whole setup later. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. So let's switch up the tool. I do apologize. Actually, no, I'm gonna say that again. The bed has arrived. So this whole situation of the table being here, I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown on it after. But um, let's switch out the tool. This is, this is legitimately, I think, going to be, this might be my new favorite exercise. I just really like that internal pressure and the scooping, the cupping movement of the lower pinky, which is, in my opinion, a little bit of a downfall in my game. So I'm gonna drop this guy here. We can do some back pressure. We can actually add some more weight on this one this time. One thing I don't enjoy, actually I can do this with a pad. Let me see. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that's light. I'm gonna definitely add the other weight and we'll go from there.
Okay, currently 40 pounds or about 18 kilograms. I'll just let this here for now. 18 kilograms. And we'll just play around with some back pressure and go from there. Some music on and roll. Also, I might have to turn it down because there's people coming in at any time now. so good. I mean, I'm sore. This just feels awesome. And that music goes hard. I, 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 I enjoy it. In fact, I think for the next videos that I make, if you guys like the music in between, I'm going to slap it in because I get better pumped that way, to be honest with you, instead of me just talking and waiting to do another set. Um, also, um, I am currently saving for a new camera for YouTube. Um, the camera is going to be a couple thousand bucks, a couple, it's going to be more like 5k. So I figured I would share the journey with you. I currently have only the money that I have invested from YouTube into this account and I'm going to update you guys regularly. It's not a lot. Um, it's an investment account through crypto. So in the portfolio, I'm going to show you in this portfolio, I have 300 as we speak. I have three. Well, let's, I really want this to zoom in here. Woo. Come on. 300 as it says, and $16 in crypto on YouTube. I have made a total of, I'll figure it out, but I think it's like uh, 123 and 102. So I made around, around 250 bucks. Now, I will not use this money that's in this account until I have bought a new camera, which means all ad revenue, if I make enough to even meet the threshold, um, is all gonna go for a whole completely new camera. Now, I'm gonna keep this camera, I'm gonna keep the body because you don't just, you don't just buy a bigger camera and it, and it becomes better. In fact, it's the lens that does most of the work. So I'm gonna keep this as my intermediate beginner camera, but I do have one that I have my eyes set on. So. If I make enough money in the next two years, I'll get it with the revenue I make from this. And if not, well, um, then yeah, I'll, uh, well, when, when the time comes, the time will come, but this money is strictly just for a camera and the bed's here. So I'll be right back. Well, the bed is here, but it's, well, the bed's here, but it's downstairs and my girlfriend's gonna kill me because I should be helping her um, bring it upstairs but she can do that while I get a pump. So let's hit play and, and roll. What's funny about me playing music in between my sets is I might finish one song in a whole video. <laughs> oh my God, I'm itchy. This is ridiculous. That pre-workout slops. I've already had two coffees previous to the pre-workout. So my uh, caffeine levels are a little too high right now. <sighs> yeah, itchy. 
I don't have any plan with this. I'm just altering the angles and kind of going from there. Yeah. I'm curious to know when this bed's gonna show up though, because this whole place is gonna it's gonna change. I should be helping though, to be honest. Yeah. As soon as I hear anything, I <laughs> go let them in. But um, I guess the next one I'll just do straight back pressure. I don't know if it'll be the same angle, but I'll hit some I'll hit play on the music and wait for the set. All right, I know this workout has been all over the place. The bed has arrived, and I do want to show you guys. We have the mattress, or yeah, I think this is the mattress. The mattress, whatever the hell this is. And then we have <laughs> the boxes there. So yeah, I will update you guys a little bit more later. Let's try this. Uh, yeah, let's try this. All right. All right, my internal rotation is super sore, right in these areas, of course. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> future videos, they're gonna be, I would, they're gonna be longer, um, but this one might be a little bit shorter just based off of soreness. I've got a bed to deal with now, and I have an appointment in an hour, so, yeah, it can be a busy one. And then I work after a, a seven to eight hour shift right after. A whopping 20 kilograms, let's go, dude. I wonder if Hermes can lift this. Oh, oh my God, my arms hurt. <sighs> All right, honestly, I think I'm gonna end the video here. My arms are toast, I know. <laughs> I hooked this up, I took a, well, I did take a pre-workout, and then I have EAs rolling. But uh, yeah, I guess to summarize what is going on right now, so it's one month post-Nationals today. I don't, the video won't be released today, but today's July 25th. Nationals were June 30th. So we're about a month out. Um, obviously I did go on vacation prior, no prior post nationals and I did not treat my body well so the recovery hasn't been that good. Now that I'm back, uh, I've been back for almost a week and we're back at it. Two days ago, no, three days ago hit legs, two days ago push, yesterday pull. Today was supposed to be possibly uh, an off day or something like this. Arms are sore, I think. I'll hit the sauna tonight or tomorrow and then back at it in just a couple days. I do feel like my recovery is starting to get a little bit better with all the supplementation, the food's been better, and back into schedule. So future videos, what I make like this, will be actual training, like straight out training. Um, yeah, so if you guys like these types of videos, seriously like them, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.